Happy Tuesday, everybody. It's Vikings95 here, and I am really excited for this. These are the new two Panini Black boxes, uh, the football boxes I ordered a while back. Here, let me show you guys the first shipment I got. This is the first box. I know it's going to be kind of close to the camera, but that was even before I got it. It had this big split. Uh, the boxes were actually damaged out of it or the actual football card boxes were damaged out of the box. Uh, so I had uh, to send those back. And then Panini sent me back this. The customer service was actually not bad once I called. So if you guys ever have an issue, make sure you call them. Uh, they did not respond to any emails or anything. I emailed their online sales and their customer service. Neither responded. You need to call uh, in order to get anything done. Uh, so call them. FedEx. It was no helpful, no help at all, even though they were the primary reason why the boxes were broken. Uh, so I'm gonna open this up right here. We're gonna take out what's inside. Should be two undamaged bo black boxes. Let me just check the uh, receipt right here. Yup, here we go, the original invoice. Bit much better packaging this time. The first time around was actually this. This paper was the only thing in it, and it was a bigger box. Oh, as you guys can see in the background too, I got the one touches. There's my Hakeem Butler. Uh, so a lot better packaging this time around. And oh, look at that. He did throw in a couple promotional packs. Sweet. So here we go. Two undamaged Panini Black boxes. Really excited for these. Uh, obviously, they are $100 each, so very expensive for at least uh, considerably for me uh, compared to what I usually buy, which I usually am kind of the discount buyer. Uh, but $100 each, kind of my birthday present to myself. Uh, birthday's in late September, so it's coming up. Uh, but here we go. Let's just, I'm going to see what they uh, threw in with it to see... The customer service rep said that they threw in something extra. So these are 2019 Panini football. I don't really know. One of them's thick, and then there's three thin. I honestly don't really know what these are. I've never seen these before. These are just promotional packs, apparently. Uh, so we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and open one of these boxes first. Then we're gonna go over to the promotional packs. We're only gonna have five cards in these boxes. So obviously very, short print or uh, very small boxes but uh they're supposed to be a lot of fun i've seen some cool stuff pulled from it uh let me get a i'm gonna get a little top loader to you know hide the, the next card because don't want to damage it or anything uh so here we go we're gonna open this up quick Take out this. So there's the uh, 120 card set, 40 rookie patch autos, uh, number to 75, 30 rookies, and uh, 50 base. So five cards, $100 in here. We're going to see uh, what we got inside. I'm very curious what was inside the, uh, the first boxes I had. Obviously, I will not be able to find out, uh, but, you know... No, I'll never know. The curiosity will always be there, but that's all right. All right, there we go. There's the first box. The first card out of the first box, we're going to have D-Hop. We're going to have DeAndre Hopkins, 44 out of 75. These cards look very sharp. That's awesome. DeAndre Hopkins out of 75. I'm going to see. Let's see. I'll throw these in a couple sleeves right away. Because uh, all of these are going to be numbered. Our second one, we're going to have Penny Black, Cameron Jordan, 22 out of 25. Nice short print right there uh, for the auto. So we get uh, one base auto, one RPA, uh, one memorabilia card, and then we're going to have uh, a couple, or we're going to have two base cards. So at least that is what I'm expecting. So throw this in a sleeve real quick. Not bad. Short print out of 25. Cameron Jordan for the Saints. The next one I believe could be the, uh, let's see. 
How do I want to do this? We're going to go to the very back. 13 to 25, Russell Wilson. So that is the other base card. Looks cool. So what, what really changes on the base cards is uh, this coloring right here. I'm sure you guys have seen a few videos come out already with uh, the Panini Black since this is a ways late. Uh, so I preferably would have got this opened a couple weeks ago at the beginning of September. But that's a nice short print out of 25 of Russell Wilson. Um, so here we go. Now we've got the, uh, we're going to go the memorabilia card next. I'm just going to flip it. There's the mem card. Melvin Gordon. Of course, he's not playing so far this year, but 55 out of 75. Rough edge up there. Edges are a little rough, but, you know, that's what happens with these thicker cards. Let's see if I can get the glare. There you guys go. 55 to 75. Not bad. And our RPA. Should I use one of these? All right. Out of 75. 47 to 75. All right. Gary Jennings Jr. Uh, not a huge name by any means, but uh, potentially could be. That is a sweet patch. These cards do look very, very nice. Uh, so that is a Gary Jennings Jr. RPA. 47 out of 75. Sad that there are sticker autos still, but, you know, I've almost come to expect that now. So we're going to get that all sleeved up. And we will throw that right there to sit in the back. All right, I am kind of curious what we've got in here because we have three thin and one thick, and I don't really know what these are. Uh, he just said he threw some promotional packs in there, so we're going to go ahead and open these up quick. Again, no idea if they're numbered or what. Oh, look at that. That is sweet. Are these from the Panini Day? It might be. I never opened any of these, but this is 12 out of 50 Aaron Rodgers. So not bad. Uh, a little bonus for me, actually. So, 12 out of 50 Rogers. Oh, no way. Okay, I might have got really lucky with these. 12 out of 50 Rogers, and then look at this. Philip Lindsay. This is numbered 1 out of 10. That is absolutely crazy. It's got, like, the white sparkle right there. Very cool. Yep, this was Panini Day. Uh, one out of ten Philip Lindsay. That is sweet. That might be one of my favorite cards I get in this break just because of how shiny it is. Uh, but I'll throw those in the back. I'm gonna open up another one. Wow, that was very nice. A lot of fun there. Never knew what these packs were. All right, the first one, maybe that one was just special, but the first one we got Drew Brees. Looks like a base card. Uh, so nothing really there. The second one, we have a Tyler Boyd. This is going to be 5 out of 99. Another good look. That looks awesome. Not too shabby. Throw those off to the side. Got one more thin, and then we do have that thick. So that thick one is really what I'm excited for after seeing that first pack. Uh, but here we go. Le'Veon Bell and the Jets, just another base. And then we have uh, Keenan Williams for the Jets again. So there's a Jets pack, and that's going to be 5 of 99 uh, from the draft. So pretty cool. And the last one, thick pack. Let's see. Yeah, look at that right there. That is thick. It's a thick card. Okay, here we go. So the first one we got is Josh Jacobs. All right, Josh Jacobs base card. I think it's going to be turned around. Yep, so it's going to just flip this way. The other one we got is... All right, Patrick Peterson. It is 1 out of 50. Not bad. Uh, not too bad at all. This is a Pro Bowl patch, obviously with the blue. Uh, but 1 out of 50, Patrick Peterson with the thick card. It's very thick. 
All right, so that was very nice of Panini to uh, to send some promotional packs back with me for that uh, that weight and the damaged car or the damaged boxes. So not bad. The Rogers, the Philip Lindsay, that Patrick Peterson. Uh, but let's get on to box two and hopefully have some good luck. Uh, let's see. Here we go, the second box. Been waiting for these for a while, so I'm hopefully not going to get too skunked out of it. I mean, right now we're not looking too bad. The, the Gary Jennings Jr. is not a huge hit by any means uh, out of some of the, the rookie autos that we could have got. Uh, Cameron Jordan out of 25 is pretty sweet. Uh, and then, you know, the Russell Wilson numbered is uh, not too bad either. Um, here we go. I'm going to try and keep as much of a surprise as I can. I have not seen any of them. All right. So, right on top. Oh, look at that. We, we got a Viking. We got Kurt Cousins. This is going to be 47 out of 75. He lit it up against the Raiders. Him and Delvin Cook are just going off on, uh, you know, on the teams that aren't as good as us. Uh, but then this is going to be the true test this upcoming week against the Bears uh, to see if we can pull it off against a better team. Uh, so Kirk Cousins, our first, uh, basically the short print card. Uh, I'm going to go back down to the end. We're going to get at the end. We have... Oh, look at that. We got Saquon, who got hurt, sadly, and I had him on one of my fantasy teams, but 12 out of 25, Saquon Barkley. Uh, so not bad. Another, uh, a nicer, shorter print. I'm glad that this is the one out of 25. That's pretty cool. Uh, but sad to see him go down uh, during the game with the ankle injury. Uh, but, you know, hopefully he gets a little bit better soon. All right, we're going to have... I almost want to just flip this over without seeing them. I may have saw a little bit, but here we go. Lift this up. We've got, look at that. Mr. Patrick Mahomes, 15 of 75. Oh, no way. We did get it. We got the jersey number. Uh, so technically eBay one of one. 15 of 75 Mahomes, who's been a beast. So far this year, and he lit it up against Lamar Jackson. Uh, he is he's in MVP shape again. Uh, so this is not bad at all. This is futuristic black. Uh, but nice Patrick Mahomes jersey card right there. All right, I'm going to throw that with Melvin Gordon. Um, so right here we have the, I believe this is actually the uh, the RPA. It is. All right, 70-75. Look at that. We got Mr. Will Greer, 70-75. We'll see if he, uh, you know, how he does. I know uh, he didn't get a chance to play the first time for the Panthers uh, with, uh, who was it? I can't remember, Kyle Allen or someone uh, playing, but this is not bad. Always nice to have a quarterback uh, RPA, first-year quarterback, because you, know, you never know when they're going to, you know, take the place of the starter. Uh, obviously, with, like, Luke Falk, that happened. Um, and he was a rookie last year. So, Will Greer, RPA, nice three-color patch. 70 of 75. I'm going to say that's a nice hit uh, for these boxes. I'm going to set that in the back. And then our last card, I think I saw it turned around. It's going to be for the Browns, 2 of 65, Nick Chubb. So, he's a running back of mine in fantasy. Uh, so I'm going to pull that aside, get a sleeve on it quick. I'll put all the uh, top loaders on later. 2 of 65 Nick Chubb Auto with the Shining Signature. So there you guys go. That is the uh, my two black boxes I waited for for so long. I uh, got a couple of freebies, that Rogers out of 50, the Philip Lindsay, not bad, uh, not terribly shabby. So... Uh, there you guys go. There is 2019 Black Football, $100 a box, one of my most expensive purchases yet. And then I got these nice uh, promo packs as well that were fun. Uh, but I had a great weekend. Uh, I was actually up north for the weekend, so that is why I was slow to respond to all of your comments. 
Um, but the Vikings got the win. I'm going to give them a little Viking bell. Uh, and then Iowa State showed up to play, winning 72-20. to 20. Uh, So let's look at this beauty. I got the uh, the one touch for it. So I got my Hakeem Butler right now, and I have my Alan Lazard as well. I have not got a booklet yet for David Montgomery. Uh, but with that, thank you guys all for watching. I hope you had a great weekend. Hope you have a great upcoming week. Uh, happy Tuesday, everybody. Uh, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.